Hi, I'm Joyce. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Bailey. And we're the Lindsley OVAC cheer team. We began our week with divisional middle school and upper school meetings to recognize our students who are in honors in HBL for the second grading period. Congratulations to all the students who worked hard to earn this distinction. Meanwhile, our middle school grade level spelling bee finalists competed on Thursday for a chance to move on to the county bee. Congratulations to winners 8th grade Jackson Malam and 7th grader Zach Cootie, who will represent Lindsley at the county bee at Wheeling Park High School on February 16th. The beginning of February also means the beginning of Lindsay's celebration of Black History Month. If you enter our library, you will see Mrs. Lestini has put up a unique display, the Periodic Table of Black History, a collection of artists, authors, athletes, musicians, politicians, and more. Some of our fifth graders come from a long line of Lindsay legacy. In art class this week, they were working on character design and with exaggerated features. Students looked through older yearbooks to find their siblings, parents, aunts, or even Miss Holt to practice drawing caricatures. Sixth graders are working in health on a unit on role models. What characteristics we value when choosing role models in our own lives. Students create presentations on a well-known person they think would be a good role model based on the personal connection they have with this person and the type of good works they do. Middle school students enjoyed hands-on activities this week during their STEM classes. Fifth graders were challenged to design and construct a maze out of Play-Doh which put their creativity and engineering skills to work. Our sixth graders continued working on their designs and construction of green-friendly houses as part of their unit on the environment and sustainability. Lindsay eighth graders are also using their design and engineering skills to construct building block structures. Lindsay upper school students spent time in leadership classes this week, working to make an impact on our very own Lindsay community. Our junior leadership internship program was in full swing in the cafeteria this week. Our kitchen interns worked with Mrs. DeFazio, Director of Land Food Services at Lindsley, to see what it takes to prepare lunch for the entire school. They had fun learning how to make pepperoni rolls that were served for lunch today. Delicious. It was a busy week of winter athletics, with many teams wrapping up their seasons. Our middle school basketball teams competed last Saturday in the BMC Championship. Congratulations to all four teams, 7th grade girls, 8th grade girls, 7th grade boys, and 8th grade boys on all winning their titles. The Lindsley boys and girls swim teams wrapped up undefeated seasons in the dual meet competitions against East, Liverpool, Edison, and St. John this week, with the boys 23-0 and the girls 26-0. The team celebrated senior night on Tuesday at their final home meet of the season. Lindsley middle school wrestlers traveled to Huntington, West Virginia for the biggest tournament in the state. The team tied for 15th out of 99 teams. Brock Humphrey and Georgie Momokas took first place, and Elliot Wade took third place in their weight classes, our varsity team wrestled Thursday night in the OVAC 3A Dual Championships. The team came away with a second place finish after an undefeated regular season. Good luck to the Lindsay Cheerleaders competing at OVAX this Saturday, February 4th at West Banco Arena. The girls will take the stage to compete at 1.30 p.m. Thursday evening, they gave all fans a showcase of the routine they will be performing. Come out and support the Lindsay Cheerleaders. Tickets for this event can be purchased online at the OVAC website. The Lindsley boys and girls basketball teams are hosting a benefit game against the Ohio County Eagles to support the Special Olympics this Sunday, February 5th. Start time is 11.30 a.m. There is no admission at the door, but donations are encouraged. Come out to support a special cause and some great hoops this Sunday. And that's what's happening on this week's Cadet Minute.